It's safer to fly than it is to drive. We're nowhere close to this level of safety engineering in artificial intelligence. Here's an interesting statistic. For every kilogram of nuclear power station, seven kilograms of paperwork go into certifying that nuclear power station. There are quantitative guarantees calculated for the design through improvements in technology and in governance. Time to failure has gone from 10,000 years to 10 million years. That gives you a sense of how seriously the nuclear industry takes safety. But despite all that effort, we had Chernobyl, and Chernobyl ended up wiping out the global nuclear industry. We are nowhere close to this level of safety engineering in artificial intelligence. The technology of choice in the last decade, deep learning and transformers, is extremely resistant to this type of analysis. We do not understand the internal principles of operation of those systems. And imagine trying to get a 10 million year guarantee for the safety of a nuclear power plant that nobody designed, that arrived from outer space, that's inside a black box, and we have no idea how it works. It would obviously be impossible to do that. And it's impossible, I think, with the current technological approach to get close to these kinds of quantitative safety guarantees. So maybe there was a bad bet on the technology direction, that the bet was made entirely on the basis of capabilities without consideration of the requirements of safety.